Well, good morning, Facebook group. It is a fine morning. I'm coming to you nice and bright and early. All of you know by now that the best part of my day is the early morning. Uh, and that includes Saturday morning. I went for a beautiful run this morning. The sun's uh, cresting. And uh, I love getting out of the house. Time to reflect, time to chat, time to just, you know, have that time with myself. And so wherever I find you, I hope you're well, whether you're watching it live with me now or on the replay. Just wanted to chat with you as I was reading yesterday some information about confident people. Some thoughts about confident people that I wrote down that I want to share with you. What really drives or creates confident people. Number one, confident people get their happiness within. And, you know, as I mature in my 52 years of life so far, I've got lots more wisdom to capture. But, you know, with the people I surround myself with, I notice a lot of people that need others around them to feel confident, to gain confidence, to feel better about themselves. But confident people know right here, know right here, have their own agenda in place. They get their happiness within themselves, not needing others for approval, for validation. They've got that internal strength, comes back to that personal character and principle-based human being that knows what you stand every day when you get up to make a difference, obviously for yourself and for the lives that matter for you. Number two, confident people listen more than they speak. Confident people listen more than they speak. Let me tell you, or let me ask you, how many people do you know, family, friends, foes, that when you get together with them, they do nothing but chat and carry conversations and more importantly, interrupt conversations that they're not part of and they jump in and they have to just speak, 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 speak. Those type of people need the attention. Those type of people are missing something and so they need to jump in and be the center of attention. Confident people listen, listen. And then when something comes out of here, it's a result of listening, gathering your thoughts, and saying something intelligent rather than just speaking. Confident people don't seek attention. That kind of comes to the same part of listening more than they speak. Almost introverts, you know, you're confident within, so you don't need to let everyone else know it. The next thing about confident people is confident people, and I share this with all of you, move their body. They exercise. Now, other people that don't exercise that are confident, of course. But in life, there's not many things you and I can control. And one thing, though, you and I can control is getting up every day, eating right, drinking water, getting eight hours of sleep, meditation, and moving your body. So from a confidence perspective, you can control how you feel about yourself. And how you feel about yourself is the most important thing every day to get on with the day and make it a magical day, rolling it into the next day. And so, if you can control your exercise, you will feel better about yourself. I don't care who you are out there. We all wanna look better, and you have the opportunity to build that discipline. That's what exercise is, the discipline of getting up every day and taking care of your body, the only body you have here on this planet. So exercise will give you that confidence you look good, your clothes feel better, okay? You're not uh, breathing heavily, going upstairs, what have you. And it's that discipline you can control and you will be more confident as a result of that. Confident people, they're not afraid to be wrong. This I see all the time to some of the other points I just shared. Confident people, if they're wrong, they'll admit it because they're on a journey of introspect, a journey of learning. They are always a student. They remain a student of their craft, of their direction, of their life. And so if I'm wrong, if you're wrong, if someone else is wrong, admit it. Now we all have to work on that. I'm just sharing with you 
confident people and we're all looking to be more confident in our lives. Don't be afraid to be wrong because if you're wrong, uh, no one's right all the time. So admit it, learn from your mistakes and make sure you don't repeat them. Confident people, this is a big one. Confident people celebrate other people. Jealous people don't. Again, especially in our business, how many other people we're seeing that are succeeding, maybe growing quicker, um, escalating in pintile faster than you and I, celebrate them, celebrate their success. Be happy for other people. Every single journey that you're on and I'm on is God's purpose with you and I. Be grateful for what you have and where you're at in your life and be grateful for other people in your lives and all the success with other people. Be happy with other people. Celebrate other people. Don't be envious of other people. Be confident in what God's put in front of you in your journey, but celebrate other people. That's going to go a real long way to achieving what you want and being confident in your own journey because you'll learn from other people. Again, you're not afraid to be wrong. Uh, learn from other people and that's where the confidence comes from. And finally, the last one I would say in terms of confident people, they're not afraid to ask for help. A lot of people that are not confident, they're scared. What are people going to ask? What are people going to think of me because I need to learn something, especially in our industry. I will continuously be a student of this very lucrative and very empowering and very uninterruptible business project that I'm on right now. I'm not afraid to ask for help. We have a team, a leadership team, partners that will help you in our business, but in life in general, don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? Uh, people that are confident understand that there are other people that they need to surround themselves with that know more than them. They always say that if you walk into a room and you're the smartest person in the room, you're not going to grow. Get out of that room as quickly as you can. Shut the door and walk into another room where you are in a room with people where you want to go to people that have reached the level of exercise, the level of fitness, the level of success in your business, whatever you're doing, in relationships, uh, in whatever craft you're looking to master. Be the one that can learn from other people. Level up. Don't be always the one that knows it all, that, you know, uh, speaks more than they listen, seek attention, you know, never afraid to be wrong. You get what I'm saying to you? All that will bring the confidence to you and a greater confidence every day will allow you to wake up and truly make a difference, not only in your life, but most importantly in the lives of other people as they see as you continue to grow and be humble and be authentic and be real on your journey. Hope you got some value, everybody. Make it a great weekend. I'm going home to shower after a few burpees and wide grips and push-ups. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.